hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian Nelson from Encaustic Art Plus, based in Elsica, South Yorkshire. I'm just going to do a demonstration using up an old piece of black shiny card. Um, it's an older piece, so don't worry if you can see a few marks and bits and pieces. Um, but I just thought I'd use it up as a demonstration piece today. Um, and we're just going to use two wax blocks. Um, number 16 and number 35 and then I'm just going to fill the iron with number 35 or the front part of the iron the triangular part and then I'm going to go in and just pull away and go in again pull away And it will be a series of repeated sort of pulling away and adding in initially with 35 which is slightly more cream than white and I'm just going to go in from here and go over that way Sliding around, I should have put some heat proof tape on it and I didn't. Look at the nice pattern you get though if you lift. I'm just going to quickly just bob a little bit of heat proof tape on just so that that doesn't happen again on us. Painting card to set and just tape it down. Press it down a little bit and it'll hold. I'm just even going to just do two corners, I think it'll be enough. what I'm doing. So again I've just got the iron popped a bit more wax on. I'm just going to slide all the way back see what we get. Yep, fine. Let me just sort of ready round in such a circular type motion really so when you lift with the iron you'll get that like suction technique that we've all done when you're making your grass and your hills and things with encaustic people seem to like the black and white shades on the YouTube channel, so just hope we have a play around today. So this gives me the background. Then you're all thinking, well, he said he was going to use number 16, and so far he's only used the other one. I'm just going to take a bit of tissue and give my iron a good wipe. Now get rid of that. There's a few ways I could do things with this uh, number 16. Initially I'm just going to do very similar to what I did before. Just pop in. One. That way. Wiping in between each one of these. And I'm only filling the front edge of the iron. It might be running down it, but that's fine. Then I'm going to use this clean bit of tissue. I'm actually going to make... Just scrumple the tissue up, made like a point. I'm just going to use the pointy bit that I've made to just emphasise this middle area here. So to blend those points in. There we have a bit of an abstract flower. We can 
emphasize it even more if we want we can do whatever we want we can use the side edges of the block and we can put some more bits in some, some of it will move some of the wax around sometimes it will lay wax on it will vary as to what it'll do. That's quite effective. Turn the block, got another sharp edge. You can do a smaller version of this on your uh, compact hot plate as well. Don't feel that you've got to have the, the really big hot plate. Um, but for those of you that have got them, just thought it was something else to show you. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching that. And you can go into it, do more, and add more colour should you wish. But I just wanted to keep it really simple uh, with the two shades of white and the white and cream on the black card. Happy painting, everyone, and we'll look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Please hit like and subscribe.